200 laps, 400 trips through the intersection. Green flag is out, we are underway. Eddie Van Meter, Ronnie Basham the third, down through the intersection going for the race lead. Van Meter to the lead. Eddie Van Meter leading them back through the intersection. We've got intersection traffic already here on the opening lap. A little bit of a close call on the intersection. Brakes locking up this time. Oh, Preston Davis with the 12 of Mike Riddle making contact. Davis came to a halt. And we have got debris all over the racetrack. Twelve of Mike Riddle taking some damage after contact with the 89 of Davis. Eddie Van Meter showing the way. Mark Tunney second. Cody Stickler is third. Heating up at the intersection. Trouble hit in the intersection. That's the 55 of Cody Williams and the 99 of, of Ricky Puckett. Puckett back up and running. 55 of Williams fires back up. He will continue to. Your leader's now going to be in some heavy traffic, both at the intersection. Close call with Steve Durham. Mark Tunney going to get by Eddie Van Meter for the race lead. Van Meter going to fall back to the fourth spot. Stickler and Basham able to get by as well. Mark Tunney got the lead in a similar situation last year. Here comes Cody Stickler. We've got a hit again in the intersection. Puckett and Senekosov getting together. Both cars keep rolling. Mark Tunney and Cody Stickler going at it for the race lead. Ronnie Basham not letting them get away either. Move Cody Stickler to the race lead down through the intersection that time. Red flag going to be coming out here at Showtime Speedway. We've got a car stopped with the driver's door exposed. That's the 12 of Brandon White. Stopping the race for a car with the driver's door exposed. That's the 12 of Brandon White who's come to a rest here. Just past the intersection. Green flag is out. We are back underway. Mark Tunney and Ronnie Basham the third. Off in the oval three and four. Tunney gonna jump out to the race lead. Cody Stickler getting that 89 back out at the last minute. Mark Tunney, Ronnie Basham, Eddie Van Meter, Ben Tunney. Lap traffic gonna play a role. Who's gonna be able to navigate this with the most efficiency? Working their way past the 17 of Corey Harmon as we've got a car around in front of your race leaders. That's Norton, everybody getting back going. Ronnie Basham gonna come out of that with the race lead. Trouble for Mark Tunney in the 3T. Coming to a rest, it turns three and four. Red flag coming out. We've got a car stopped, the 3T of Mark Tunney. Three T of Mark Tunney getting caught up in a brawl with some lap cars there. Coming to a rest in three and four. Altercation between the 69 and the 24 of Michael Cherry. Altercation going on in Oval 1 and 2.
Drivers up and out of the car. Hundred and twenty nine laps remaining here in the Southern World Finals. Ronnie Basham the third is your race leader. Artie Ware second in the thirty eight. Eddie Van Meter is third in the twenty three. Ben Tunney is fourth in the number five. We'll turn them loose next time by. Ronnie Basham the third and Artie Ware gonna lead him to the green. Basham and Ware leading them down to the intersection. Green flag is out. We are back underway. Ronnie Basham the third, your race leader. Artie Ware under attack from Eddie Van Meter. Van Meter looking to the inside of Basham. Basham able to close the door. We're back underway. Artie Ware going to get back by Van Meter for second. They touch. Artie Ware up the track. Everyone gets away clean. Eddie Van Meter now up into second. Setting his sights on the 86. The Ronnie Basham the third. 87 of Basham. 23 of Van Meter side by side for the race lead as we approach halfway. Lap car's going to play a factor. Van Meter going to sneak by Ronnie Basham. get the race lead from Ronnie Basham. Navigating through that lap traffic. Lap traffic been a major factor in this race so far. Find your race leader, Eddie Van Meter. Three wide with the lap car of White. White backs out of it. Basham, close call with the 55 of Williams that was stopped. Basham back into second. Red flag coming out here on the speedway. Van Meter and Basham going to lead him to the green. Green flag is out. We are back underway. 38 of Artie Ware, your fourth place car, having trouble getting going. It's going to stack the field up behind him. Tunney and Basham going at it for second, down through the intersection. Basham peeking to the inside of Van Meter, not able to get there that time. How bad do you want it? Is he going to use the bumper? The old chrome horn to try and force his way past. They thread the needle between the two stopped cars. Ben Tunney. We've got the 55 of Cody Williams coming to a stop again at the intersection. That's going to draw the red flag. Pace truck will pull off on the back stretch this time. Basham and Van Meter. Going to lead him back to the green. We are back underway. Ronnie Basham getting a good start. It's a bumper turned by the 23 of Van Meter. Everyone stacking up in oval number four. That's going to bring the red flag back out. Let's take a look at our replay here on low budget TV. Eddie Van Meter getting into the quarter panel of Ronnie Basham into oval number four on that start. Basham going around, everybody stacking up, trying to avoid. Struck is off, green flag is out. We are racing. Tunney and Basham down into oval three and four. Basham slides up the track. Chad Sizemore throwing it in there. Sizemore is in fourth, one lap down. Puts himself between your race leader, Ben Tunney, and Ronnie Basham the third. Twenty-five to go this time by. It's just one of our regular Saturday night features left to go in this 200 lap race. Contact between Steve Durham and Dudo Ferris going around in the 48. Ferris gets it back running. Preston Davis a little sideways. Coming through the intersection. 
Little bit of a close call on the intersection for Ben Tunney. All it takes is one for a race to get thrown away. Tunney now with the lap car, Preston Davis in front of him. Tunney contact with the lap car, Davis. Mark Tunney, grow, or Ben Tunney growing impatient with the 89 of Davis. Sends him around in oval three and four. Davis keeps his foot in it. White flag is in the air. One lap to go for Ben Tunney. Two more trips to the intersection to decide your 2022 Southern World Finals. Ronnie Basham giving it everything he's got. One more set of corners. Basham sideways, not gonna be able to get there. One last trip through the intersection. Ben Tunney is gonna win your Southern World Finals here at Showtime Speedway. Ronnie Basham the third is second. Eddie Van Meter gonna bring it home in third. Chad Sizemore is fourth. And Steve Durham rounds out your top five in the 3B, 3D. Here he is, up and out of the car. Let's hear it for your Southern World Finals champion, Ben Tunney. Ben Tunney. <laughs> ben Tunney broke the track record today again, set fast time, and that was a heck of a race you had there at the end, especially dealing with those lap cars. Yeah, it definitely was. That was a treacherous race, man. There was Cars going everywhere, dirt, dust flying, wrecks happening, uh, stop cars to look for, crossover action, racing the car in front of and behind you, beside you, and uh, every time you get beside somebody, they're running, <laughs> they're bouncing off of you, running all over the place. You're just like, man, I'm trying to keep the wheels on it, but I got to race too, so it's a tough balance, but man, I'm sure happy to be here. This track's been tough for me. I've been lucky enough to win it two times before tonight, and uh, those races were more uh, given to me than this one. Uh, a lot of guys fell out and stuff. This time, a few guys fell out, and I'm sorry for that, but they, there's a lot of good cars still running, and uh, I was able to try to somewhat keep some tires under it for 200 laps, and it was sure tough, but I tried to time my attack just right, and uh, I tried to attack clean, and I tried to attack... Uh, creatively and I try to attack hard and uh, that's what makes it a show and that's what gets you here so sometimes it goes good sometimes it goes bad but I'm just happy to be here all right who do you want to thank for helping you out tonight Ben oh god you guys are gonna get tired of this but man I got a big bunch of people to thank we uh book, broke an engine earlier yesterday we put my old engine in that just won the three hour last year ran all last season it's been my motor for the last seven or eight years, and I, I owe Joe Williamson. I owe Joe Williamson. Thank you for making it a good piece, and uh, Mike Hadley for uh, turning me on to it. But I want to thank my cousin Mark Tunney and Bruce Tunney for giving me such a good race car. A lot of feedback to get my car working the way it uh, has been able to, and I want to thank my crew first for their hard work this week and at the shop at home, and that includes Josh and Val and Chris Johnson and. Uh, everybody that showed up this week to help out here in Florida and made the haul. I got to thank all my sponsors. Uh, without you guys, none of this would be possible. I thank you all very much, and I owe that to Soapy Joe's, Vapor Kings Indy, uh, Dave Duncan with Mount Lawn Speedway, Brown's Oil Service, Bob's Tier Door Pizza, S&M Painting Drywall, uh, Painting uh, Pro Touch Paint, uh, Lawn Mowing, The Thompson House, Chef at Snapple Auto Care, uh, Kenny Mowing, Breed Love Automotive. Uh, Brown's Oil Service. I mean, there's so many people helping out. And all you fans, I hope you sure enjoyed it. Uh, thank you very much. All right, let's hear it one more time. For now, three-time Southern World Finals champion, Ben Tunney.